So, Freddie, today I went out. I think I told you earlier. Uh, Marla, Matt, and I, we, uh, we were filming a vlog. And Matt took me to, you know, his spots. And it was freaking awesome. His spot is epic, by the way. For Peacock Bass, they were huge <laughs> monsters. Now, I literally hooked into... Now, nobody's going to believe me. And this is why I think it's great, Matt, that you called in. Because literally nobody yeah. will believe this. Now... No. He he told me it was 14 pounds. Is that true? You're such a liar. I didn't say that, Matt. I said it was borderline 25. <laughs> he said 14. <laughs> At least 14. The giant of all giants. Yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. He well, also said your spot was in uh, the Brazilian rainforest, which I didn't believe either. Well, I mean, the way the fishing was, it was pretty much almost like that. That'd be great. Now, we we went out there on a mission to get the, um, the clown knife fish. Unfortunately, we saw them. Yep. I mean, literally, they were rolling yeah, and we stuff saw. just like tarpon, just like Matt said. Do they make that noise? Mm -hmm. How'd it go? Um, they make a little swirl there. They yeah. don't make the little gulping noise, though. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, Freddy's but, um, Yeah, they roll just like, and you see the silver come up and everything. So, oh, yeah, they were me. there. They just weren't, um, you know, they weren't hungry. I think I hooked one earlier. Um, uh. I don't know if I did or not. I think I did. But, um, yeah, you know, they're just kind of, they're on and off fish, you know, it's, one day they're fire you're catching them left and right other days they're not interested in anything so just kind of the way it goes with clowns yeah hmm. they're like joe he's a clown he's off and on it's, it's very true <laughs> so all right so what happens is so we're not you know we're, we're we see him but we're not getting him so what we started doing was uh we started fishing for the peacocks and matt's like joe follow me we'll go to these certain docks and uh and we're gonna you know there, there's big ones over here that you might get lucky so matt you know, typical Marlon Matt uh, goes right to the first dock and instantly, you know, gets a monster, <laughs> right? Right in front of me. Right in your face. Right. And uh, I'm really not doing well today. I have been snagged quite a few times to the point where it even got a lot. it even got contagious because Matt screamed, this is my first <laughs> snag ever in this place. So he got <laughs> snagged. And uh, I, don't know, I was a little rusty, but I, I, I got some nice peacocks here and there. But when you throw it in the trees, you're going to get snagged. You know that, right? Yes. I go <laughs> to this dock <laughs> mm. and uh, Matt was telling me this is the dock. This is where those big uh, – it is freaking hot in here. This is where the <laughs> – <laughs> I'm dying too. It's just light. That's um, no, those are cool lights. It's yeah, they're, no, they're not cool. We're, we're in South Florida. That's there's not no, happening. There's no air conditioning. Right. There is definitely no AC. So mm -mm. I, I go to this dock. Matt's like, t uh, cast it right over here. I, you know, there is monster peacocks right there. I cast it, and I'm waiting for a minute, and I'm diddling with something. I forget what I was diddling with. Uh, you remember. You know what you were diddling. That's right. And, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you were. And then, all of a sudden, <laughs> my line goes off, and this thing, thump, goes straight down, almost like a snook bite. Mm. And Matt yeah. Matt looks at me instantly and goes, that's a, that's a big fish. And this, this fish literally went straight down, wouldn't move. Then, then... I'm reeling it up and I'm get I'm getting ground on it, right? So it's it's coming up and then it makes this big run. I there was no control. I couldn't do anything about it and it literally uh went to this one spot where there was like what is it, Matt? Like a sunken boat? I get I mean, I don't know what was there. I've never seen that there. There has to be something new from like the hurricane, I'm guessing, something that got blown in or something. Just I don't I don't know what it was, but it yeah. was a spot where he could go in and kind of hide. The old sunken boat. There. The old sunken boat move. Oh man, but it but this thing was <laughs> mass, and it took me. It took under the boat, so I'm like literally. It's like um, fighting a, a grouper in the Bahamas. So the grouper's stuck in that cave. So I'm literally <laughs> fighting to get this thing out of the cave, and I get it up, and then it goes. And I'm fighting, and I'm and I lock down my yeah, drag. Right back in. It goes right back in, and then like two minutes later, pop. How many grouper have we caught? This yeah. thing was you like pull the hook this... on it. You didn't, you didn't break it off or anything. Just just right. like pulling the hook on it, which was a yeah, which was eventually going to happen. So, I mean, yeah, I would say this fish was eight or nine pounds. With, you're not fishing with like real, you know, you mean like you, you're not fishing with with snook tackle. You know, you're not fishing with thirty pound or forty pound braid or forty pound floor where you can just like lock it down and horse them out. Exactly. You know, there is some like finessing to it. But when you're around structure like that with those peacock bass, you hook a five, six, seven pound peacock bass. Like people underestimate how strong those fish really are. Like they're gonna their first initial run, like they run as hard as anything, really. 
Um, and you're using, like we were using, I had like, I had like 15 pound fluoro liter on, and I know he had some mono on there, which is probably no more than, I don't think there's any more than 12 pound mono that right. he had on there. So, you know, it's pretty, you know, it's, it's, it's not that light, but it's, it's, it's fairly light where you can't horse the fish out or just lock down your drag and muscle them out. So there's a little bit of kind of like give and take back and forth, but man, he saw that whatever was down there, I don't know what it was. Was this, <laughs> you say it was a boat. I don't know. I think it was, a but boat. Matt, you like, saw what that fish like did to me. I mean, it literally sort of worked. PVC tube. Yeah. It like worked yeah. my rod though. You saw it. It ran. There was oh, nothing yeah. I can do. Yeah. And it wasn't light. I didn't well, have it set to light. Too, so people are going to see the video. People are going to see the video as well. Um, because you, because you see the initial hit, I just watched the video, like you see the initial hit and then you just see this thing. Then you just see your rod just like double over. Cause the hit was like a normal hit, you know, nothing like it's just kind of just thumped it, like you said. Right. But then after that, it just, it just, yeah, I mean, it, it took off. And if that thing wasn't there, like you would have been able to kind of like, okay, you know, just, just kind of fight them normally, give and take a little bit until you got them up. But man, I wish I would have. Yeah, I kind of want to see that one now because that that might have been bigger than normal. I mean, like the ones we that. usually pull out of there are, you know, <laughs> between three to four, fives big. But you know, we never, uh, you know, you, you fight them a little bit, you get them up. But that one, yeah, that one was was something something a little bit bigger. <laughs> I that was that was a pretty big fish. But Joe, Joe I, I'm glad me. you called in because yeah. I just wanted I wanted this to get out in the open before people say that this didn't happen and it's fake and. And all this stuff. So, <laughs> Joe um, told me that the yeah, fish. Are that. Joe told me right. that the structure that was down there was the lost city of Atlantis, right. and that the fish it was, could have, hey, it, was fifty one. Was fifty one pounds. That's what he told me before yeah, you got hey, on the hey. phone. But I'm so I'm glad you called too because you got to clarify a little bit of these tall tales. Right. Well, Fred, I told him to jump in and go get it. You know, we were in like it's like six feet of water. Jump in and go wrestle him out. You know, get your peacock. <laughs> he told me that it was 180. Exactly. He told me it was 180 feet. What? <laughs> Fred is like you delusional. Just made up this, this heat, whole story. Bro. This heat is like really getting to him right now. I don't think he could take it anymore. <laughs> Matt, but, you're uh, just doing a good job at corroborating his nonsense. Freddie, just be like, you know, yeah. you're like, you're like live from Pompano like Beach, Florida. God. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Matt. Well, listen, man. I don't want to take too much of your time, but listen, if uh, people want to take your charters, I mean, you are the man when it comes to that. You go to deepbluekayakfishing dot com or just yeah, just message us on our our uh, our Facebook page or, or um, Instagram page. But really, deepbluekayakfishing dot com. Click the book a trip tab, contact us, shoot us a message, and yeah, we'll get out there. Yeah. Awesome, and uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel, and it's uh, Deep Blue Kayak Fishing, right? Yep. Sweet brother. Yep, awesome, correct. Matt. Well, listen, man, I really appreciate you calling in. Yep, man. Thanks for having me. Be later, good. Later, I, I had fun today, man. All right. Me too. All See right. ya. See you, bud. Well, that was a good conversation. I'm yeah. glad we got the truth out on the table. You he said a... that I, I caught, I mean, that thing was like nine pounds. Well, he said it was more like bigger than normal. And normal is two or three Freddy. pounds. That's all I heard. If I said the sky was blue, <laughs> you would say, Joe, no, it's purple.